Okay, see, this is also from 2023. Okay. The ordinates of the points P and Q on the parabola with focus 3, 0 and directrix x is equal to minus 3 are in the ratio 3 is to 1. What do we call ordinates? Y coordinate. Axis are x coordinate. Okay? That means y coordinate of P and the x y q side. Y coordinate of Q are in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So respectively, they have to tell, but even though not a problem. Okay, now if R, alpha, beta is the point of intersection of the tangents to the parabola, that means see, from the parabola, two tangents are there and they will meet at one point. See, approximate figure I am drawing. Say that uh, 3, 0, they are mentioning, see, like that you take this parabola and two tangents are there, like this, and they will meet at one point. This point you take as R. This point you take as P, this point you take as Q. Okay? And, uh, okay. Now, see, R will be having alpha, comma, beta. P points you have to take on parabola. And the relation they have given, ordinate relation. And solve this and find alpha, beta. Alpha, beta exact values may not come. Ratio type will come. And that ratio again, beta square by alpha, if you make automatically ratio divided by ratio, you are going to get to one numerical value. That value should come 16 as per this question. Uh, so here, what I want today, uh, see, here two things you have to observe. See, when you are having focus, 3 comma 0 implies A comma 0 implies A will be 3. Okay? If at all a is 3, automatically directrix will be minus 3. Same thing they have given. Okay? Ah, that is why it is matching. No problem. That is one thing. A is 3 is one thing. Another thing, what I want to say, P and Q, how we are going to take? That is important here. See, I, what, I, what I want to say. Like last question, P, I am going to take uh, a t1 square comma 2a t1. Okay, see, here, whether you have to take 2AT or AT square depends on y square is equal to 4x or x square is equal to 4 ay When x is equal to minus 3 automatically, x is equal to minus 3 means this is y square is equal to 4 ay That is why we can able to take this. Okay, ah, carefully you have to observe. What about q? You take at to square comma 2at. Can you modify? Yes. Why? Because see, a value you are having 3. Write down that. Then p value will be. 3t1 square comma 3 into 2 6t1 comma q 3t2 square comma 6t2 okay that is one thing another thing what they have given ordinates means 6t1 by 6t2 ratio 3 by 1 that means it shall write like this 6t1 by 6t2 is equal to 3 by 1 6 6 you cancel out t1 is equal to 3t2 this ratio you take and keep aside Okay. Uh, now what else they have given? R is alpha beta. Huh? Here you have to know one concept for this question. See, when these tangents meet at one point, then alpha will be, observe carefully, alpha will be geometric mean, geometric mean, geometric mean of this a t1 square and the a t2 square. Okay? Uh, then what about beta? Beta will be arithmetic mean of 2a t1 and 2a t2. Okay? That means the x coordinates geometric mean, y coordinates arithmetic mean you have to do for getting this point. Exactly do we get any value? We don't know. We may get ratio. That is sure. Let us do See, alpha is equal to, geometry means what? Both square and apply root. Okay, is it okay? Yes, sir. Let me see. Uh, 3 means see, 9 t1 square. No, no, not uh, square. You simply multiply and square. 3 t1 square into 3 t2 square under root. That means see, 3, 3, 3 you take out, 
Parabola chapter and tomorrow what we do we will start ellipse okay thank you very much